Okay, so the fact is, is that the GH5's autofocus is crap. You know, you can put all the videos you want, and I've seen loads of people putting videos, oh, autofocus fix, and this and that, and with this lens it works, and blah, blah, blah. I think it's obvious for everyone. If you have to post videos that say fix, it's because something is wrong. And uh, I wanted to make this video because I'm, uh, I wanted to, you know, give my two cents and, and, and say what I think about this issue. And because it's, you know, because everyone's just talking about it, autofocus this, autofocus that, is it a deal breaker? Is it a deal breaker? I mean, are you buying the GH5 because of the autofocus? Are you buying the GH5 to, uh, to uh, vlog? If you're buying the GH5 to vlog, you're not buying the right camera to do that. You should buy a Sony or a, a Canon 80D or something because, I mean, who buys a GH5 to vlog? That's my cat, I'm sorry. It's just stupid, you know? And the other argument, the other thing I want to talk about is, um, is this uh, debate that I got into recently in another video, someone else's video I was commenting on, and the debate was whether or not autofocus has a place in the, pro in the professional world. And it's pretty much a fact that it doesn't, okay? And I was defending this position very adamantly. I th really think that the auto autofocus, it's not actually, I don't think it's a fact, does not have a place in, 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 in the professional world. I mean, if you go to buy a high-end camera like a RED or something, it doesn't, have, it doesn't even have autofocus, so that pretty much says something about it. Um, and people were saying that I'm like a, a dinosaur, that I need to adapt to the future, autofocus is the future. Absolutely, I agree with that. I do think that autofocus is, re is the future. I do think and I want autofocus to be part of the professional world, but right now it doesn't. You know, As of April 2017, it really isn't part of, of the professional world. It's a feature implemented in cameras that are you know, made for more of you know, prosumer um, crowd, not, not the high-end professionals. You don't, you, know, you don't shoot a high-end, you know, high-budget uh, um, Hollywood movie with autofocus, come on. Um, and, and here's why you don't do that. You don't do that because as it is right now, even the best autofocus system, for me, is the Canon has the best autofocus, even with that autofocus, I can't risk, sorry about that, I cannot risk being in the middle of a take with my actor delivering a brilliant performance and I'm thinking, this is it, this is the take I've been waiting for, we've, we've, we've done this seven times, eight times, 11 times, 15 times, and suddenly the autofocus decides to go to the background for whatever reason the camera decides to fuck up. I cannot allow my, you know, the camera to make that kind of decisions for me. And that costs money. It costs money. It costs creativity, you know, you just can't put a price on a good performance. You cannot. And I can't have a camera, you know, I can't risk that a camera will mess up a take. Uh, so autofocus in the professional world is not an issue because you simply don't use it. It's too risky. And really right now a focus puller can do magic and autofocus cannot. You can really control everything doing manual focus. I'm going to shoot a feature next month, um, and I'm going to shoot with two GH5s. It's a low-budget film. We don't have a lot of money, and of course, if we did, we'd go you know, to a higher-end camera. But that's why I bought the GH5. The other one's going to be bought by the production company, and I bought one for myself. And we're going to use both of them to shoot the feature film. And that's why I bought the GH5. I bought it for a professional you know, purpose. Basically, I didn't buy this to vlog. I didn't buy this to, you know, shoot my cats and, and go to the park and, 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 you know, do whatever or do vlogs, you know. Um, nothing against that. I, actually, I've done a couple of them, but not with a GH5. Uh, so that's my point. I mean, why are people crying about autofocus in a camera? If they want to buy, you know, if, if you want to vlog, just get a, a Canon 80D. Just get, you know, a Sony. It'll do a much better job for you than the GH5. Oh, but I want the 4K 60 and I want the the super, you know, the 100, 180 frames per second on, on 1080. Well, tough luck, you know. Panasonic sucks in, in autofocus. What are you gonna do? Just buy a, a different camera. If your content is good, if your vlogs are good, if they're well well edited and well paced, if the story is good, it doesn't matter if you have 4K at 60 or 100 frames per second at 1080. It doesn't matter. So why are people complaining about one feature that actually, you know, doesn't work in the GH5? I mean, all the rest that I need as a professional works. So, uh, you know, just, yeah, I just, 
I just lost my train of thought, but my point is, why is everyone crying about, you know, a, a great camera, the GH5 is a great camera for the price that it, has, you know, that it costs, and, and people are com complaining about just one feature. Yes, it's not that they're wrong. Yes, Panasonic should have implemented a better system, a better, a better autofocus system, but they didn't. Uh, and my point still remains, even if the GH5 did have tremendous autofocus, I think it's an overpriced camera if you would just want to vlog. Why would you invest $2,000 and plus with lenses, even more with lenses and stuff, just to vlog? You don't need that. Just, you know, plenty of cameras that do that better and for cheaper, for a lot cheaper and a reasonable price. Why would you ever buy a camera like the GH5 or a Sony, you know, AS7R2 or whatever to vlog? I mean, you want to do professional work with those kind of, you know, that kind of gear. You don't want to do vlogs. So it's kind of mute for me. It's kind of, you know, it is a problem. I recognize that it is a problem, but it's pointless to, it's not a deal breaker because for me and for, I think I'd say eight out of 10 people that buy this camera, they don't care about autofocus. They're buying this camera, you know, to, to use it professionally, to produce professional, professional work. The ones that are bitching are the ones that want to use it, you know, the ones that use gear, uh, the gear for, you know, for use a camera for something that it was, wasn't really designed for, at least in my opinion, you know. I could be wrong, yes, it does have the flipping, you know, the flipping, uh, the flip screen and whatever. So you could argue, oh yeah, but uh, you know, it's, it's aimed for vloggers too. Yes, it could be, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just my two cents and I'm, I'm rambling on and I just wanted to, to share my opinion with you guys and uh, hopefully uh, hear what you think and rebuild what you have to say about this issue. And above all, and now uh, changing subject, I want to thank everyone that uh, all the support that I got from my last video when I did a comparison, um, the G5 versus the 5D Mark IV, which I uh, also own. And I got an overwhelming response. I got a lot of views and people commenting and and. and and expressing their opinion and a lot of mistakes were pointed out and I did make a lot of mistakes on those tests. Uh, I should have had a, in consideration a lot of things that I was using a speed booster that affected the depth of field. Uh, the low light test was a disaster because I didn't adjust the, um, the exposure properly as the ISO as I cranked up the ISO. So I made all those mistakes but I do plan on doing another test once the, the, the 5D, the new 5D firmware comes. And once that comes, I'll do another comparison test and see, you know, how they compare to each other with a new with a firmware. And yeah, so thank you once again for all the support. If you haven't done those, if you have, blah, 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 I do roll my tongue a lot. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And uh, um, I don't know if I'm in focus in the entire time in this video because I'm using uh, the application, the Panasonic application, and I've seen. Uh, you probably know this guy, Peter Gregg uses the application to tap and focus. Well, thing is, when I'm recording, right now I'm recording, cats, cats. When I'm recording, if I tap anywhere, the, the focus doesn't work, it doesn't care. It only focuses if I'm not recording. If I stop recording and I tap around the screen, it will, it'll pick up what I'm trying to focus. Right now, I just can tap whatever I want and the focus won't, be, it won't change at all. So if anyone has a solution for this, please let me know what to do. And with that said, thank you very much for watching and uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time and uh, and yeah, peace.